Live from Gene Autry Way, welcome to Angel Stadium. We got a bit of a wet one coming at you. It's the Cleveland Guardians and the Los Angeles Angels. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about set to go. And on the mound in this one, Jose Suarez. Well, he throws the change in the slider off the fastball. I really like how he's able to sell fastball, but it's really change up and keep hitters just out in front a little bit. Swing and miss, soft contact. The slider as well comes out of the same tunnel. All three very deceptive, and hitters are going to have to stay back and make sure they get pitch recognition. So in now for Cleveland, Stephen Kwan. Off the mark there. And we're off and running from Anaheim. Upstairs. And it is two and one. Two balls, one strike. Check swing, no appeal. Nice job to keep the hands back on that one. Out in front just a little bit. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. Kicks and deals. And there's ball four. Now this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Here's Jose Ramirez. The switch hitter batting right. And first offering is fouled off. Juan on at first. Nobody out. Check on the runner. Quan back in on a dive. At the belt and fires. Check swing, but he went too far. And it's 0-2. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And one away. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Here's Josh Naylor. First offering. Misses the mark. pitch that's in there and it's one and one now move to first and he's back in safely back over to first and they're keeping him close Next pitch is outside. Runner on the goal. And a foul ball. Now snap throw to first. And he's back in there. Another move to first. And he's back in that time as well. Oh. 
That one just misses. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. High fly ball down the left field line. And that one gets down. Fair ball. Heading for the plate. The relay throw. Not in time. He's safe. A run comes in on the play. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Loriano comes up to hit, and Cleveland on top one zip. Slapped foul. Runner at second here, one gone. Popped up first base side. Fletcher going after it. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's two away. The right fielder, Oscar Gonzalez. Here's a speed threat, Oscar Gonzalez. Line drive, base hit. Naylor rounds third, headed for the plate. He will score. It's 2-0. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. Here's Brian Riccio. Gets the slider in there for a strike. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. 0-2 oh now. Good eye right there. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. And now the count is even. Swings and misses, struck him out. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Guardians two and the Angels coming up. Back in Anaheim, and today's starting pitcher, Lucas Giolito. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Well, a pretty standard four-pitch mix. He's got the fastball, change speeds, two breaking balls. You know, all can be really effective if they're coming out of the same arm slot and really staying in that tunnel for a good bit. So in now for the Angels, Randall Gritchick. No left fielder. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. That clips the corner. The 0 1. Nope. Ball one. One and one. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. One, two, bottom of the first. The pitch just misses with that one. It's a good take. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. 
Well, one of the things that hitters will do is they'll look for that red dot on the baseball as it's coming in to let them know what the pitch is. And if they see the red dot, it's typically a slider. But when a guy's got a really tight one with high spin rates, very difficult to determine. And that's probably why we saw a swing and miss right there. Just a nasty pitch. Now it's going to be number nine. Swings and misses. It's 0-1. One down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. The wind and the pitch. That's off the mark. Now one and two. And a ball evens the count. Swings and misses. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Swing and a miss. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout. When you get your chance, go up there and hit the ball hard somewhere. In there. And so now one and two. So far, all we've seen in this at bat are fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. Foul ball still a one and two count. The wind of the pitch. Ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Stays alive. 2-2 two -two now. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Second inning, set to go. Here's the speedy catcher, Bo Naylor. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. Here's the 0-2. In the dirt. Throws to first. One up, one down. Here's Tyler Freeman to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire. But Boog Dixon, maybe a little bit more hitter friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners. So we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. This ball's chopped on the ground. Tosses to first. Now two away. Got it, huh? The second baseman, Jose Tenner. 
And up next for Cleveland, Jose Tena. Down the middle for a strike. 0 and 1. And that's in there at the knees. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down Great. in the dirt. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. Guardians fail to score. They're up 2 0. here at Angel Stadium and here's the rookie catcher Logan Ohapi here comes a pitch that's in there strike one Just off the outside. outside part of the plate. Righty delivers. And that's that outside. Goes. And that one just oh, missed off the outside edge. He takes a strike. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Right-hander kicks, deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And the righty deals. And a ground ball to first. And it goes just foul. And a 3-2. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Here's Joe Adele. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Righty to the plate. And strike two. And the right-hander deals. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Ball. And one and two. One ball, two strikes. In the dirt, up with it, fires the first. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to it. That clips the zone. That's strike one. The pitch. Nope. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The one two. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. 
pulled the string on the changeup. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Out of the third inning, now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Stephen Kwan. Suarez back to work and the first pitch misses for ball one check swing and that's a ball That one finds the zone, and it's two and one. Well, a good breaking ball like that can buckle the hitter, and by the time you realize it's going to be in the strike zone, it's too late to pull the trigger. Just oh, missed. In the air, left field down the line. Snags it on the run. One down. Now it's Jose Ramirez. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Pitch misses outside. 1 and 0. Oh. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. Checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. He did not go around. The wind to kick the 2 0. Just missed. The 3 1. And that's in there at the knees. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He now goes off speed. The gets the out. Josh. And now it's Josh Naylor. He doubled home a run in his first A-B. Yeah. That's a strike. Going along. Gets him to chase after that one. The pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. One ball, two strikes. Next offering is downstairs. And that's outside. They all pitch. And that's ball four. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI. And those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. There's a swing and a drive. And out of here. With one swing, he quiets the crowd, and they add a pair. It's 4 nothing. Well, you can see he was out front just a little bit. Maybe didn't recognize the changeup earlier, but he got the bat head to it, hooked it down the line, and was able to keep it fair for a long home run. Really impressive. Now, Oscar Gonzalez. First pitch swinging.
That misses. One ball, one strike. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Here's a 1-1. In the air out to center. Phillips under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. As we go to the last of the third, now the third baseman, number 38. The right-hander back to work. And ball one. That's in there, and that's strike one. And he deals. They say it went. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. That misses the zone. The count now two and two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The 2-2. And downstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Three, two. Swing and a ball popped up. Tenna makes the grab one away. Here's David Fletcher. And that's in there for strike one. That's hard hit on the line. Quan flashes the leather on the run and catch. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Brett Phillips in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. That pitch in for a strike and it's nothing in two. And here it comes. And that's downstairs and outside. His understanding of the strike zone, very impressive. That was a very close 0-2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. Next pitch misses, and the count's even at two. And a good eye there. And down on strikes, inning over, and the Angels are gone in order. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. And welcome back. And here is Brian Rocchio. Brian Rocchio. The pitch. There's a strike. You know, these Guardians showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Pitch count is pretty high, and they've played nope, with four runs ball. already, so I think it's safe to say their game plan is working out pretty well right now. Kicks and deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. So they forced the starter to put in a lot of work, and they've been able to get to him for some runs, and hopefully that bullpen phone is working today. And it's even up. 
Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Bo Naylor at the plate now. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Makes the grab, two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the third baseman, Tyler Freeman. Grounded out back to the pitcher his first time. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And first offering is fouled off. The why to kick the pitch. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Andy O'Toole. Got him looking as the fastball runs back over the inside corner. Nothing doing for the Guardians there, but they're in front for nothing. Ready to go, bottom four. Randall Gritchick now. The Halos in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And that's in for a strike. You know, these Angels just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Goes down looking. Now there's a three pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Shortstop. So up next, number nine. His first at bat was a strikeout. Late swing, fouled off. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. And a pitch. That one missing yeah, one inside. Ball, Swings and misses. That's strike two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Three. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Sets him down on strikes. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. you got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Brandon Drury to the plate. And takes low for ball one. And a pitch. Lifted in the air, right field. And that will end the inning. Angels go down one, two, three. They're down four, nothing. Welcome back. Leading Top five, John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Jose Tena. pitch line drive base hit went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line you know hitters 
they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field and it doesn't always translate into the game but right there it did and he did it perfectly now the Angels manager is out of the dugout and he'll make a move to the pen Jose Suarez will depart just never found his groove wasn't able to settle in new arm coming on back in a moment so they turn things over to the righty Chase Silson and we all know about his slider it's just filthy man and one of the better ones in the game I'd say spin rates very high and it just breaks a ton. Stepping up for the Guardians Stephen Kwan. This one in the air right field Adele moves under it. And there's one away. Now that designated hitter, Jose Ramirez. Man at first. Next for the Guardians is the designated hitter, Jose Ramirez, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. There's the strike. Activity in the bullpen. Number 59, the hard throwing righty is up and loosening. Wants warming up as well. The pitch. That misses off the outside edge. And there's a ball. Sorry, that's a ball. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game. I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick because word will get around the league in a hurry. Naylor stands in now and watches strike one. The next offering misses and one and one. Tenna, the runner at first with two gone. Silson picks over and he's back safely. In the air to left center. Makes the grab after a long run. And that'll do it. Guardians lead one, but they lead it four to nothing. Bottom of the inning, and now it's going to be Logan Ohapi. Well, as a hitter, you don't want to be part of a team that was no hit. I mean, it's embarrassing, man. So this guy right here, he's looking to do anything he can in this leadoff at bat to make it tough. Ball one low. You know, we talk so much about how guys prepare for a start. For Giolito, one of the things that's really cool, he actually uses scouting reports and then plays MLB the show to execute how he's going to go about attacking hitters. Next offering is in for a strike. So the night before his start, he effectively goes over the lineup he anticipates he's going to face and plays the game. So he goes through an entire opposing lineup on MLB The Show, utilizing his own scouting report the team provided. And now it's even up. For Giolito, it actually is an idea that kind of came together with his buddy Max Freed. They played together in high school in Los Angeles. And they're not sure who started at first, but in 2019, they each began to go over scouting reports using MLB The Show. Out to short, Rokio. On to first, and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. And now the right fielder, Joe Adele. He's 0 for 1. Count. 
Next pitch downstairs, and the count even one and one. And that's too high. Two balls, one strike. Yeah, the two one hammered, but foul. And now it's filled up. The Angels still looking for their first hit in this one. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. The wind of the pitch. And he walked him. Eduardo Escobar, the next to hit for the Angels. Check swing to the first pitch. Looked down to third. Didn't go. The 1-0. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Here's a 1 1. Fought off foul. And a pitch. Fights that one away, still 1 and 2. Kicks and fires. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Five foul balls in this at-bat so far, and these guys are going head-to-head. -head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. At the belt and fires. Left field. And he makes the catch. That's out number two. The third baseman, Michael. So they're down to their final out. Now the third baseman, number 38. First oh. offering, and it just misses. Good eye right there. That misses. And now 3 0. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. So two on with two away. And next for the Angels, David Fletcher. That clips a corner. Righty delivers. Line drive. And that'll do it. The Guardians get a shutout on the mound. Well, you win this one four to nothing, and it feels like you could have exploded for more offensively, but you also realize that at times it was hard to score. So you get out of here feeling good about this win. Ultimately, there was great pitching and defense to keep that other team off the board. You always feel good about a win like this. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.